Hello and welcome to Optical Turnkey. I am the new kid on the block round here, so hello. So today we are looking at the Ramsgate Port COVID testing site along with Kent Audit UK. Here's the first interaction. Morning. Morning. Nice All right. Notice the member of public doesn't seem phased or bothered by having the camera there and even gives us a little wave. Here comes the goon. So you know, so we have a no filming of photography. I'm not on the site. You are on the site. Why don't you go past the gate? You're over the site. Oh, this, so. this is this is no, public. So out he comes with his lovely laminated sheet of paper, and along comes his friend. Stand by. And why can't you just go down there? Because I don't want to. Please, mate, come on. Stand away. Please. No, you stand away. No, you stand, you away. stand away. You stand away. You stand away. Oi. Oi. Move. Move. I've had enough yeah, of your crap. Move. Come on. Come on, move. Come on, no, annoying my Don't touch me. I'm not touching move. you. I'm touching a tripod. Right. Move. That's assault. No, it's not. So then he decides to get hands on, and then his colleague moves the camera. What? Don't touch me. Don't fucking touch me. I'm going to come back up again anyway. Give us a fucking camera. Oh. 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 Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. What a goon. You want to film? You film from there, big man. Come on then. Is the gentleman with you, madam? No. Very well. You don't want him near you. I look good on camera, I know yeah. that. No, you don't. Just an asshole. Yeah. That's what I get paid for. So he gets paid to be an asshole. Wonderful. Well, next thing in my inbox today, I received this letter from Sight and Sound Security. Here we go. Hi, hope you're well. You recently posted a video on YouTube of the security at the testing centre in Ramsgate. I am the contracts manager responsible for this officer who dealt with the situation and I am investigating the situation. If you would like to discuss this situation, please call me or contact me below on the below details. I will await your call. Also, under the NHS data protection of its patient confidentiality, I would like to ask that you take down the video from YouTube so not to breach the data protection of the NHS, who have enough to deal with in the present COVID situation and having patients' complaints that their confidentiality has been breached is a situation that does not need to be dealt with. I thank you in advance for your understanding in this matter. Kindest regards, Steve Tucker, Contracts Manager. Hmm, right. Okay, how do I reply to this? Well, uh, you will see very shortly. So instantly I took to the computer to send the following reply to Mr. Tucker. Dear Steve, I indeed recently posted the video from Kent Audit UK in support of the PINAC movement educating people that photography is not a crime. I thank you for inviting me to contact you regarding the incident, but as this was not my audit, I feel that I could unfairly misrepresent the auditor in his act of filming the site. I do feel that the actions were terrible and want to show my full support for him and the treatment of the staff at the site were over the top and pure thuggery. You have requested that the video be removed to protect the patients using the test site. At this time, I would like to politely decline this request, as this sort of action is becoming more and more frequent and hopefully will assist in spreading the word to other security companies and their staff not to behave in this way in future. The photography and images used were taken by a member of the public, in which GDPR is not the responsibility of the public and would be that of companies involved in the management of the site. GDPR applies to companies, corporations and not individuals. And if any such breach should occur, then I will happily remove the video. This site's publicly accessible and filming is not a criminal offence, assault is. I understand that this is difficult times for the NHS, as is with us all, but this treatment from any member of staff from the establishment is totally unacceptable, and I wish to leave the video live. I understand this is not the outcome you have wished for, but as a media outlet, this is my job. I expose the truth and show interactions with the police and individual corporations, what really is going on in the world. Appreciate you taking the time to write to me, but I have a job to do also. 
Then I get a response. Hi. Thank you for your reply. It's a shame that you're not willing to discuss as I agree that security and police are etc are accountable for their actions. However, I believe they also have the right to work without being hounded into situations like this one which was provoked by the filmmaker. Therefore, I, I will be taken further to YouTube who happens to be an ex-client of mine to have the film removed and passing on the information to the police as the filmmaker has been on the site several occasions carrying out what I believe to be hostile reconnaissance of the site and could be linked to terrorist activity under the Terrorism Act 2000. Thank you for your time, kindest regard, Steve Tucker, Contracts Manager. Well, guess what? I've got a friend also. They work for Kellogg's, but it doesn't mean I get free cornflakes. So you can see the picture of the goons on the screen. Don't forget to give this video a like, a comment and subscribe and click that notification bell to see all my future updates and videos. Thanks for watching.